Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this series of videos, we will see how to design a complete website using Elementor Theme Builder. Elementor Theme Builder is available only with the Elementor Pro plugin. So you need to have Elementor Pro plugin installed on your website. Now each website has different sections such as header, footer, a single page, single post, archive, and using Elementor Theme Builder, you can create templates for these sections. So in this series of videos, we will see how to create templates for these sections using Elementor Theme Builder. We will also install WooCommerce plugin and we will learn how to create template for a single product page, the shop page and product archive using Elementor Theme Builder. So Elementor Theme Builder can be a complete package to design professional website in WordPress. So let's start with this video. Now here you can see that this is a completely blank website. We do not have any pages, only home page is there and only one blog post is there. You can see that I have installed only two plugins here. One is the Elementor free plugin and this one is Elementor Pro plugin. And the theme that we are going to use is Hello Elementor theme. And this is the default appearance of this website. So let's start with creating header template. I'm already logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Now under Elementor, you will see templates and under templates, you will see theme builder. So go to theme builder. Click on header. So in this video, we are going to create template for header. In the next video, we will create template for footer. So click on this plus icon. Now here you will see some pre-designed header sections. So you can choose any one of them if you want. However, in this video, we are going to do it manually. Let's see this one. All right, let's try this one. Uh, we are going to use this one for demo. So here you have logo, then the address, phone number, and the timing here. So let's try to design template like this one. So this is the image actually. So I'm going to design template simply like this one. Okay, so at the top you have four sections. So let's use a four column. So in the first column, we are going to use site logo. Right now we have not set up any site logo here. So we are going to do that. Otherwise you can simply delete this one and use image. So here you can insert the logo of your website. So I'm going to browse the logo. I already have the logo design. So I'm going to upload this. Here is the logo. Now the next is address. So let's click on the plus sign. In this column, we are going to add address. Here, look for icon. And this is the icon that we are going to use. So drag it and drop it here. We want it at the left side. Okay, now change this icon to let's say map. Look for map. And let's say address. And whatever your address is, you can enter the address here. Okay, now let's style it. Go to style, we are going to change the style. We are going to change the color also. So these are the default colors. Uh, we are going to change these colors also. So as of now, we are going to select one of the colors from here. So we will be using this color throughout the website. So let's add it as the global color. Let's name it as dark blue. And now this is the text color. Let's add to, let's make it dark black. And add this color also in global color. Now let's change the size of the title. And the size of the text is good. Now let's 
reduce the spacing so it will look nice here now this is done now let's change the size of the icon let's make it smaller this is too small let's make it okay this one looks good now it is at the top so let's make it vertical align middle so you need to select the column here and change the vertical align to middle so it will come to the middle now the next one will be the phone number let's do one thing let's copy this one duplicate it and move it here vertical align middle now select this one change the icon to phone let's use this one name it as phone and enter the phone number here all right the phone is done now the next one is the timing let's do one thing we are going to make it as email address so let's select this one and look for envelope the icon for the email here enter email and type in the email if you want to link this to button you can simply copy the phone number so whenever someone clicks on it it will dial the phone number from the mobile so let's change this color to it looks good so leave it as it is okay now change the size of the columns and let's make it to the left okay so this is the logo and the three icons so let's make it full width okay now below that we need this menu bar and they have here social media icons so let's make it two column okay, now style the column use the blue color that we added dark blue okay now here we need to add menu okay first of all i'm going to create a menu so let's go to the dashboard of the wordpress website appearance then go to menus now name the main menu so we are going to create a menu first and add home in the menu save it okay now here click on the plus sign and search for the menu use this one all right now let's make it center and let's change the color say let's make it white so we need to add a white color also so we are adding the global white color so that next time if you want to use white you can simply drop click here and it, it will appear okay we are going to change the global settings later so right now we have the menu here now you need to add the social media icons so look for social icons so click click on it drag and drop it here all right so these are the three icons facebook whatever link you have you can enter the link here official color or you can use primary custom color so let's say primary color is the dark blue which will match the background and the secondary color will be white let's do the same thing with the other icons custom color primary will be dark blue to match and it is white all right so we got the icons let's make them to right align and you can change the size from here or you can see circle auto whatever changes you want you can 
make changes from here. If you want to reduce the size, you can reduce. Right, let's reduce the size of the icon here, the column here, and let's make it middle section, align middle. If you want to change the font size of this menu, you can change from the style of this menu. Here you will see typography. You can change the font icon from here. All right, now let's see how does this look. All right. Okay, now let's see how does this look on the tablet. So you can go to advanced. Here you will see icons computer tablet or mobile you can select tablet and this is how it will look on tablet okay now if you want to remove or if you want to adjust the width you can simply adjust and it will show the width on tablet so let's say we are going to make it this one 30 select this column change the width to say 20 Select this column, change the width to 30, let's say 20. Okay, so this is how it will look on the tablet actually. Now if you want to disable any one of them, you can simply select that one and go to responsive, go to advanced setting, then go to responsive and you can hide it on the tablet or you can also hide it on mobile. So it is not required to show the address at the top on the mobile devices. So I'm going to hide that and change the size of this one to let's say 30. And I don't want that email to show on the tablet. So I'm going to hide it on the tablet also. Okay, so on the tablet, it will show only the logo and phone number. And let's see, this one shows the color let's go to the select this one and go to style and change the color of the toggle button to white okay so you will see it in white color now all right so this is how it will look on the tablet this is the grade area is not going to show on the tablet now let's select mobile and this is how it will look on the mobile so you can center align this one for the mobile okay this is the logo this will not show then show phone and after that menu and the social media icon if you do not want to show this one you can simply select this column and go to advanced responsive and hide it on the mobile so it will not show on the mobile now let's say we are going to reduce the size of this icon for mobile select this one go to style and let's change the size to 30 okay so we have reduced the size to 30 now let's select the desktop again okay everything will be shown on the desktop so let's publish this template click on add condition and this template the header template will be for the entire website so include entire website if you want to add another condition if you want to exclude from some of the pages or the sections you can select exclude and here you will see archive singular or the entire site to exclude from so let's close this one okay now click on save and close all right so the template is now ready okay now let's see how does this look on the actual website so i'm going to see the website here right now we have only the header available okay so this is the logo and these are the three icons this is the home the menu bar and this is the social media icons in the upcoming videos we are going to add more pages and more information to this dummy website and you will see ma different menu items we will also go ahead and change the site settings in the upcoming videos so in the next video we will see how to create the footer template using elementor theme builder so that's it for now see you in the next video
Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.